everyone, I'm Charlotte Strong with Strong Art Creations. I'm going to be doing a resin painting today, actually a series of resin paintings on these five uh, wood boards. Um, five by seven wood boards that I have pre-painted black. I have already mixed up uh, the paints. I started out by mixing the two-part resin in um, and uh, a uh, paint mixing container, uh, equal parts um, resin to hardener, uh, mixing it according to the package directions. And today I am using oil paint. It's a new technique that I'm trying uh, just out, uh, to see what kind of effects that oil paint gives in uh, resin painting. Um, so once I mixed up the resin, uh, I poured the resin in these little cups and then I mixed in the oil paint into the resin, stirred it really well, and have it all ready to go with an oil painting. So I have three different uh, greens, a blue, a lighter color purple, a darker color purple. Um, it's red, but actually it looks a little pink once it... Uh, mixed in with the resin, an orange, and a yellow. And I'm just going to start painting whatever I feel like doing. I think actually maybe on one of them I'm going to try a dirty pour. What a dirty pour is, is you take an empty cup, you pour a little of each of her colors into the cup, um, like this. can actually give it a little stir, not too much because then you'll mix up all of your colors. Flip the cup over. Just want to make sure all of the sides are color covered. And that is that one. And I think on another one, I'm going to try a swirl technique. And this one, you start with a similar process. Try to use lighter colors with this one. And come over here to this one. Maybe give it a little and come in the center. And 
as you can see just by swirling it, the paint that is in the cup towards the bottom of the cup comes out in a swirl pattern. As you continue to swirl it around, the swirls get wider and wider. Come back with some of this paint on the corners. Make sure we get the ends covered. Because of the black background of the canvas, it's going to be a very subtle effect. Perhaps on this one, I will layer the paints right on the canvas. And I'll do them in a couple of different spots on the canvas. People often ask me why I like resin as a painting medium. And it's because it's a lesson or meditation and patience. You don't have control when you are painting with resin. As an artist, You have to be patient once you apply the paint and just see what the canvas gives you because with resin it's constantly moving. You may start out with one painting, but end up with something completely different.
try to be mindful that I don't hold this over the other ones that I've finished. I want to do with the last two. Maybe add some movement. And See what happens if we only work with a couple of color variations. There's almost enough paint on that one to just see what effects we can have by itself, but I think I want a little more blue in that. resin is already starting to slow down, so that means it's already starting to set up. Which just means it's going to take a little more effort to get the movement that I want in this particular piece.
lacing pattern that's happening in this one. And this one also has some lacing going on. This one. This one looks like it's underwater, like moss underwater. There is a piece of hair. Or a paintbrush bristle. I'm not sure which. Paintbrush bristle. So these will continue to move as um, they sit. Resin will continue to fall off of the painting over to the side. Um, and when they dry, they will look somewhat like they do now, but still slightly different. And the paint, the resin, and the paint that is left over in the cups, I pour it on the plastic sheeting that I have here. And then I use it as a skin for another painting. I don't have enough to do a whole other canvas. And with the resin skins, you can um, cut them into pieces to make mixed media paintings. You can use it to make jewelry. So nothing goes to waste. 